Welcome back to the channel. We are here February 17th, and this is going to be the breakdown for February 18th DraftKings slate um, that we have going on for Thursday. And you know how it is on every Thursday. Nice three-game slate jam-packed with stars because that's how they do. They jam-pack it with stars, and then you're going to get – you got to find value on these type of slates, okay, because they got Toronto against Milwaukee, Brooklyn against L.A., you're going to need to spend up. You got, And then you got to finish it off, Miami versus the Sacramento Kings. So you're going to want to spend down on some areas or, since it's a small slate, a lot of people are going to look for the stars, try to fit them in. The mid-range could be the area where you can really take full advantage and really set yourself apart. Because some of these guys in that, that 7, 6, 5K area, um, are going to be forgotten about because people are going to try to jam in Harden, LeBron, you know, Kyrie is playing, you know, he's facing LeBron now, and De'Aaron Fox is at a nice price. Van Vliet might be by himself going, you know, with Lowry out. So a lot of this 7, 6, and 5K guys are going to be out, and that's my area. This is why I come, and I'm going to help you right here. And we're going to break it down from beginning with the point guard um, spot I have a couple options for a lot of these areas, and we're going to start off with Dennis Schroeder. I tried to tell you what was going to happen with Anthony Davis um, and who's going to step up. I gave you Schroeder. I gave you Harrell, um, but Schroeder was that main key guy I gave you. Um, he was at 5900 He dropped his price another $100. This is going to be an up-tempo game against the Brooklyn Nets. They're going to score a ton of points. And here, this is he's going to need to step up and score more baskets. As you see, um, against Minnesota, 9 for 15. He took more shots. The game against Denver, he took 10. And now he's taking 15. They're going to need, LeBron's going to need him to score a little bit more. 24 points, four steals, two blocks, three assists, one rebound against the Brooklyn Nets who give up a ton of points. This is definitely a steal to have. You want a point guard. It's going to be him and LeBron, you know, orchestrating the offense and they're going to, they're going to lean on each other and um, definitely put up a ton of points to compete with the Brooklyn Nets. Nets, Nets at shooting guard is Tyler Hero. I gave him the last video, and we're going to keep hitting that button, okay? He's going off right now, going up against Golden State Warriors. He went off against the Clippers, and he's still too cheap. Why is he under 6K? They keep making this mistake. We're going to keep taking full advantage, okay? Miami's in a very nice spot where they're going up against the Sacramento Kings. Sacramento Kings team that's very, very feisty, but is going to be without Harrison Barnes. I think they still stay in the game, but Miami Heat are going to need their shooting. Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Duncan Robinson, Bam Adebayo, those guys are going to need to step up, and we want that mid-range. Tyler Hero is definitely that type of guy that can take over a game um, and uh, Sacramento is definitely a friendly, friendly environment. Next at small forward is going to be Norman Powell. Okay. He has dual eligibility. You can go with the shooting guard, you go with the small forward. He's getting a ton of minutes. And with that questionable tag on Kyle Lowry, you're in, you're going to have to wait for news so you can fully, you know, fully commit to Norman Powell, um, putting him in. In your lineup, you know, OG and Unibi is back. He's going to take that, you know, a small forward spot. Norman Powell is going to be thrusted in that shooting guard area. Can knock down some threes. Definitely is a scoring type of guard. Um, you want some more peripherals, but if he's hot, then he's hot. Um, and the, it, even if he's coming off the bench, and this could be a blowout situation where Milwaukee just got embarrassed against Toronto the game prior. Um, Powell's going to get that dirty mop up minutes. All right. And at 6,400, he is definitely viable. He was all the way up to 69, um, 67, 68. You're getting him, you're getting him at a little bit of cheaper price. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Especially if Kyle Lowry is out. Another shooting guard I want you guys to look at is going to be, um, Tyrese Halliburton, a rookie. Um, he's been the second best rookie from this. Um, draft class. Obviously, LaMelo Bell is number one. Anthony Edwards is starting to come on a little bit, but it's Ball, Halliburton. Wiseman was very good at the beginning of the season, but he's injured. 
Halliburton at guard position has been a instant spark plug off the bench for the Sacramento Kings. Once De'Aaron Fox, you know, goes to that bench, Halliburton has taken the next step just to follow it up and can continue that pace and pressure. Um, definitely a very good three point shooter. He has a weird, funky jump shot. Two for seven against Brooklyn. Three for six against Memphis. Um, he's gonna knock down some threes. He's gonna give you a couple assists. Definitely scrappy with the steals, 2-1-2 two, and two, the last four games, and maybe a couple rebounds. But at 6K, he is too cheap because he has a ton of potential. 45 DK against Denver, 36 DK against Boston, and 37 against Memphis. So that type of production for a 6K flat price is a must-have. All right. Another guy we're going to look at. Okay, with the Harrison Barnes injury, um, Marvin Bagley at 4,800 is someone to look at. You know, maybe these middling minutes of 21 and 21 and 18. And that, that meant those seven minutes can turn to 29 with that type of injury with uh, Harrison Barnes being out. And uh, that Me Too, they got a rookie. I think he's a rookie um, off the bench. He got injured as well. So uh, maybe... Bagley steps up a little bit more, gets you minutes in that 25 to 30 range, possibly, um, if he's effective. But Harrison Barnes being out does bode well for Marvin Bagley III. They wait, they wasted a pick on this kid from Duke. He has not been what they, uh, they could have got so much better. They could have got Donch. <sighs> what is, oh my God. The Kings make so many bad decisions. Um, 4,800 for Marvin Bagley. Is viable, but they, um, I can't believe they drafted him when they could have had Doncic. Ah, I can't believe they did that. Um, next, we're looking at another Sacramento King, and this was a surprise. Um, going up against Brooklyn, he was very, very, very efficient 12 for 15, 26 points, 16 rebounds, five blocks. This is the type of guy he is. Um, off the bench, I hope he gets the minutes he deserves. Rashawn Holmes um, has been injured as of late. Let me double check if he's going to be out again. Let me just type in the name and see if we get a little update on Rashawn Holmes. He's going to be out. So I think Hassan Whiteside becomes a lock then. If he's going to be out, they're going to need a big to go up against Bam at a bio. Um, and Whiteside is a formula former uh, Heat player. So a little revenge narrative right there. You saw the upside in 24 minutes, 58 DK. They only bumped him up $300 more. Lock, 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 lock. Hassan Whiteside in your lineups. And then last but not least, I'm going to give you Bobby Portis at 5,100. Um, I like what he is doing off the bench, instant offense um, and blowouts. And in close games, he is getting the minutes off the bench. They need his scoring. Him and Pat um, Connaughton are knocking down threes and jumpers at an alarming rate. And a very, very, very consistent. 29 DK, 35 DK, 27 against Phoenix. If he stays around this, you know, 4.6 to 5.1 K range. If he goes higher than like 5.5 five and 6, if he goes to 6, he's not worth it unless there's an injury. But Bobby Portis should be very, very um, good against Toronto. I think they wake up finally. They're in a, they're in a funk. Milwaukee Bucks are in a huge funk. Four game losing streak. I think it's like the first time in like three years for them. Bucks need a a big answer tomorrow. Giannis needs to stop missing free throws. And Bobby Portis can have some nice cleanup mopping duty going against Toronto tomorrow. All right. Let me know how you feel about the core. It's not that many guys to choose from um, other than what I've picked, unless there's another injury to come. And we're going to find out, you know, early in the morning once we see news coming in. Uh, let, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We are at 3, 362, 262, 262. We're at 262, trying to get to 300 so you can guys get that money. I'm trying to send you some PayPal money. We need to get you to the 300 subscriber mark. You get 10, and then the next 100, another 10. We're going to keep going on and on until we get to that 1,000 mark. Um, I was trying, we're trying to get monetized here, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessageSD. I'll be back tomorrow with another video, and peace out.